Yo guys, it's Corner Ferry, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to extract the maximum performance possible for your Minecraft client. That is how to maximize and increase your FPS in Minecraft using three different mods that I'm going to be showing you guys, which are Lithium, Sodium, as well as Phosphor. I know they all have chemistry related names, but trust me guys, they work amazingly well. And in fact, the performance that these three mods give you is in fact way better than what Optifine can give you in terms of performance improvements. And if you guys are skeptical about this, because I know some of you may be skeptical that, oh, how are these three mods better than Optifine, right? I even did a video about Sodium. Just Sodium itself can actually give you a performance that is better than Optifine. So it got me thinking, these three mods, they are all compatible with one another and they are all performance improvement mods. So what if we combine all three of them? And yes, you most definitely can because these three mods, they are all actually made by the same mod author. Because I know only most of you guys have actually heard of Sodium, it's the one with the most downloads after all. But trust me guys, Lithium has actually been out longer than Sodium and Phosphor as well. And these three mods, they are all developed by the same mod author, so it's credible, it's reliable, and they all work together really, really well to get the maximum FPS for your Minecraft client. So before I go ahead and show you how to install each of the three mods for your Minecraft client, I thought we'll do a quick FPS test here. So you guys can see my frames per second currently is around 300 or so, right? When I'm next to this forest, this is just a random Minecraft world that I made. You can see that it's close to 300 FPS and you guys might be surprised that it's really this high because I have no mods installed, not even Optifine installed at the moment. This is just to get an accurate gauge of what my FPS is before and after I've installed all the three mods that I mentioned earlier. So you can see I'm getting around 200 to 300 FPS and keep in mind that I have a pretty good computer to begin with. So that's why the FPS is pretty high. But even so guys, after I've installed these three mods, you can definitely see a drastic increase in the FPS that is even greater than Optifine. So before we get into the actual installation tutorial guys, don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing because if you leave a like, it ensures that more people can see and benefit from this tutorial. And of course, consider subscribing because I upload a wide variety of Minecraft content here on my channel from Minecraft documentaries to Minecraft tutorials like this one, as well as Minecraft parodies. So without further ado, let's actually get started with the installation tutorial here. We're going to be talking about each of these three mods in brief detail, and I'm going to show you guys how to install all these three mods. So let's start off with Lithium. Now, this is probably the one that most of you guys have not heard of, including Phosphor as well, because I know most of you probably know about Sodium, because there's been a lot of hype about Sodium in the past uh, few months or so. Anyway guys, Lithium made by the same developer of Sodium here. Uh, you can see what Lithium actually does, if you read uh, this part here, is that it's a general purpose optimization mod which works to improve a number of systems. Game physics, mob AI, block ticking, these are all the, the things that it actually changes. And it works actually both on client and server. So you can actually install this for your Minecraft server and it helps uh, all the players on your server as well because you can see that it says it can be installed on servers without requiring clients to have this mod. But of course it works perfectly on single player as well because it says even in single player your game runs an integrated server so these are all the features uh, you guys can just read them briefly for yourself and once again guys the link to download all these mods will be in the video description down below okay guys let's actually get started here so in order to download lithium you just want to click on download and you just wait a couple of seconds here and your download should start automatically and as you can see, it says, do you want to keep the jar file? So you just want to keep the jar file here. And next up, you have Sodium. And keep in mind, guys, that all these three mods, they only work with Fabric Mod Loader. So you can't use them with Forge. I know it's a bit of a shame, but it actually works with Fabric Mod Loader. And Fabric Mod Loader is just as easy to use as uh, Forge as well. So I'm going to show you guys how to install Fabric first. Okay, so same thing for Sodium. You guys already know what Sodium does. Again, huge improvement for FPS. These are all the features that you can read. Uh, at your own time, links are in the description. Let's go ahead and download it right now. So again, wait a couple of seconds and you can just click here and your installation will start. Keep the jar file. So last but not least, we have Phosphor here, which is probably the least popular out of these three mods uh, in terms of downloads at the very least. But Phosphor actually works amazingly well again. And what Phosphor does that is different from Lithium and Sodium is that Phosphor actually works on lighting. So it improves um, lighting in Minecraft in terms of how fast it generates and how fast it renders. So that's how it improves your FPS. And just keep in mind guys that these mods do not work with Optifine. So you can't just install Lithium, Sodium, Phosphor and Optifine for the maximum FPS boost. It doesn't work like that. Sodium is only compatible with Phosphor and Lithium and that's why you want to have all these three mods installed to get 
the maximum FPS boost. And trust me, guys, it's going to be a huge increase once we're done here. So again, just click download. Ensure that the version, of course, that you're downloading for everything is correct. It's 1.16.1. At the time of recording of this video, these mods have only been released for 1.16.1. There's no 1.16.2 version of these mods out yet. So you can see that I've downloaded all three jar files for the various mods. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and install the Fabric Launcher, which is really, really easy to install, guys. It's even as easy or if not easier than Forge. So you just want to head to the link in the description and you'll be brought to this page for the Fabric Launcher. And you can either download .exe file here if you are using Windows or if you are using Mac OS or some other kind of operating system, you can download the Universal Installer here. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to assume that most of you guys are using Windows out there. But again, the installation process is pretty much the same. So if you're using Windows, you want to click this to download the .exe file. And if you're using Mac OS or some other kinds of OS, you want to click that to download the jar file. So if you're using Mac OS or any other kinds of operating system that isn't Windows, you want to use the jar.jar .jar installation file here. And how you basically run it is the same. You just double click and it will launch this uh, installer window here. If that doesn't work out for you, if it launches into WinRAR or some other kind of archiving software, then just ensure that you right click, open with Java and you should be good to go. Just make sure you have Java installed on your computer. And the process is pretty much the same whether you are on Windows or Mac. So once you have arrived on this page, you want to check that your Minecraft version here is 1.16.1. .1. By default, it will actually be on the latest version of Minecraft. Currently, at the time of this recording, the latest version of Minecraft is 1.16.2. So if you just go ahead and click install without looking and checking properly, your Minecraft client will basically crash because the mods that we have just downloaded, they are all for Minecraft 1.16.1 and the fabric mod loader that you have installed is for 1.16.2. So just make sure that the versions are all the same so that way they will all work smoothly. So I'm just gonna select 1.16.1 here and you just wanna click install and that's it guys, it's really, really easy. And you can see that this dialog here, it says many mods also require you to put fabric API into the mods folder. Now take note guys, for these three mods, you actually don't need the fabric API. I mean, you can go ahead and install fabric API if you want to, but you don't actually need uh, Fabric API. So you are pretty much done, actually, because these three mods do not rely on Fabric API. So what you want to do right now is to install the three jar files that you have just downloaded. So what you want to do is you want to open your Windows Explorer here. You want to type percent app data, percent, hit enter. This will bring you to your roaming folder. Then you just want to double click your .minecraft folder. And over here, you should see a mods folder. Now, if you guys do not have a mods folder, um, most of you guys should have a mods folder if you have installed any sort of Minecraft mod before. But let's just say I delete this folder. You don't have a mods folder. So how do you guys get a mods folder? There are two ways that you can go about doing this. One is just simply by right clicking new folder and renaming it as mods or in lowercase. Hit enter and there you go. You have a mods folder. It actually works like that guys. But there is, there is another method as well. So if I were to delete the mods folder here, the second method would be to actually run your Minecraft. So I'm just going to run and open my Minecraft launcher here. So you can see that you have your fabric loader installed. So you want to make sure you select this profile and you hit play. And once you have arrived at this title screen, all you need to do is just immediately hit quit game. So once you have closed your game, you should see that this mods folder has automatically been created for you. So what you want to do here is you want to go to your downloads folder or where you have downloaded your three different mods, your phosphor, sodium and lithium. You want to select all of them and just drag all three jar files into the mods folder. And that is it guys, you are basically done with the installation. I'm just gonna launch Minecraft now and we are gonna see for ourselves just how drastic the FPS increase is. So when you launch Minecraft, again, make sure you select Fabric Loader 1.16.1 .1 and just keep in mind that this installation tutorial or this guide will work pretty much the same for any version of Minecraft. If these mods in the future, you're watching this in the future and these mods have been updated to 1.16.2, then just go ahead and download the 1.16.2 version and just download Fabric for 1.16.2 as well. Just make sure that everything is for the same Minecraft version. Okay, so I just want to hit play here. Okay guys, so how to know that you've installed everything correctly is that firstly, when you launch a Minecraft, at the bottom left hand corner, it should say Fabric Modded. This means that you have installed the Fabric Mod Loader successfully. So I'm just going to hop into my single player world here, just give it a couple of seconds to load and I can't wait to see the drastic increase in FPS. I hope you guys are ready for this. I'm really excited to see just what FPS will we be getting. I'm on F3 here and oh my gosh guys, this is 
next level increase in FPS. I was definitely not expecting. I mean, I was expecting a huge FPS increase. Don't don't get me wrong because I've tried it with Sodium before. But with all three mods, you can see that the FPS is even greater than what I've imagined. Instead of 200 to 300 FPS, I'm getting around 700 to 800 FPS, depending on where I'm standing here. This is really incredible, guys. If you're getting like 30 FPS without any mods, right? I'm pretty sure you can easily get over 100 FPS with the installation of these three mods that I've shown you guys in this video. So I hope this guide has actually helped you guys out in terms of increasing your FPS. And if it did, let me know what were the FPS changes before you installed these mods and after you installed these mods down in the comment section down below. And if you guys have any issues or any questions, feel free to let me know down in the comment section below and I'll respond to you guys as soon as I can. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. It helps this channel out massively. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out the other Minecraft videos on my channel. I do a wide variety of Minecraft content here on my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.